My name is Rory McKernan. I work for CrossFit HQ in multiple capacities, and this trip to Ireland is, in years and years of working for the company, the most unique and cool thing that I've ever gotten to do. The point of this trip was to meet as many affiliates as we possibly could, plug into their communities, learn who they were, learn what they were doing and how they were changing the world. What's the feeling in the air? What is it like to be there? What happens on the ground? Give a little bit more of the lifestyle and the happenings. And I think you'll see that we did a pretty good job. We rented a van because we thought, hey, listen, this can be uh, myself traveling, my wife, um, Ian obviously taking the video. It's un un not doing it right. My buddy Facundo was coming. We had Georgia who was helping kind of show us the way. That's already five people. So we show up and we're virtually driving like a miniature bus. <laughs> right. So anyways, we were off and on our way, and the first place that we went was uh, CrossFit Navin, and it was a bit out of town. You know that feeling when you think you smell bad? Like when you have showered, but you're like, maybe I got some BO, or maybe I put on a shirt that had like lingering BO on it, and the whole night all you can kind of do is like the, like the, you know, the, the, the incognito check, or like the armpit check. I knew that I smelled bad, and I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I literally smelled poop. And I knew that I smelled poop. And in my heart, I had just showed up in Ireland. I was about to meet people that I wanted to meet. And the last thing I wanted to do was walk into this gym smelling like poop. There's literally what I think to be human feces <laughs> where my shoe was. Am I right? I mean, that's poop. I can smell it immediately. And in the back lot, I had literally stepped on human feces. <laughs> And uh, you know also the difference between like dog poop and human poop. And I was like, there is no mixing this up. Like someone took a crap back there and I stepped in and this is the first thing that has happened since I got to Ireland. So the luck of the Irish was certainly not on my side at that point. All right, so we traveled halfway around the world. We've come to this place to uh, dig into the culture, see what they have to offer. So now we're going to uh, one of their local joints called Starbucks. Just, to, just for something different, you know what I mean? Come all around the world, these guys all want Starbucks. It's ridiculous. Uh, Kathy Glassman once brought me back a sticker and said, hey, you gotta go to Roar's Fishing and Tackle. It's, a, it's a literally a tackle shop. With my name, I'm sure it's not as unique here as it is in the United States. So like, when we committed to this, we knew this was gonna be just a rocket ship itinerary. So much to do, so we hit the ground running on day two. There was an award ceremony in the evening, and I needed a tux. My worst nightmare in the world is shopping for jeans. Like, it's so, so silly. I've got to use a big old butt, big old thighs, little old waist, and it just doesn't work. So, to go into a tuxedo shop is comical. And You're too jacked? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hashtag too spoiled. You know what I mean? Yep. Now you're trying on the pants? I'm trying on the pants. You have you get a jacket that's too small, you get pants that fit. This is this you is the, these are the real world struggles of a fit in You got biceps that are too big, you got Wouldn't you like to know? Too. So just to recap, I'm a little bit OCD. I know that there's poop down there and so I keep thinking that I smell it. I'm pretty sure pretty certain that I do. What are you doing? I've got like 90% solution on my poop problem. <laughs> but it's still, it's still there. It's still there? Yeah, I mean there's just a little bit like in the grooves. Can you smell it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> There's a problem. I'm pretty sure it's human poop, which makes it so much more gross. Like, so much more gross. I find it funny how you call it poop. Because we call it poo. If you say poop, it sounds like a child saying it. Liftoff was underway as we were in Ireland, so of course I wanted to hit that with as many people as possible. We went to CrossFit Green. I'm not gonna lie, I talked a little bit of smack in advance, intentionally, like trying to trying to goad people out, and I got a little bit back as well. So. Oh yeah, I'm a size uh, you, uh, a UK nine. You're a UK. I got a UK twelve. I was making fun of me because I don't wear an XL. He was like, oh, I thought you were a little bit bigger than you actually are, but in person. So then, what did you say about Sherwood? I said Sherwood was really fucking small. Oh, I thought that that was past Sherwood over here in the pink. <laughs> No, I thought it was Pat. Pat, were you in Lord of the Rings? 
The Hobbit. At the 2016 Reebok CrossFit Games, there was one Irish person there. That was a teenager, and his name was Chris Simpsons. Well, me and Chris end up sharing a platform. So I'm thinking that my brute strength can get me through. I was wrong. Uh, so here we are at the Hilton Dublin Airport, and this is the Caffeine Awards. And the, basically, these guys are celebrating their CrossFit community and their weightlifting community, as well as the events they've thrown over uh, 2016. So people will be receiving rewards, having a dinner, drinking starts now. And so I have a feeling it'll be a little bit of a, a messed up, piss up, what do they say? Pissed. And uh, say it's a party. So what was cool about the evening's event was that CrossFitters from all around Ireland had come together in a formal setting to celebrate their accomplishments in the Open. Which, I don't know if a lot of people do it. I mean, if you picture like the ESPYs or some sort of awards night, that's, that's in essence what this was with alcohol. I think to say that CrossFit has changed my complete life. It's changed how I look at people, how I look at things, and actually to look around at each of the tables, the community that we have here, and that's the most important thing to me. We don't strive to become crossfitters, we just try to become better humans and, and enjoy the journey along the way. Uh, it took us a while to realise that. If you try and run a gym based on getting crossfitters in, you're not going to be too successful. Um, so from the gym's point of view, it's just get every day, Tom and Mary come in, train, enjoy it, have fun, fall over. The exercise is just a byproduct of the community for us. So I don't know, after 10 years of sitting on a couch, two and a half years ago roughly, maybe three, no, two and a half, I started crossfitting and obviously the part of crossfit, Olympic weightlifting, fell in love with it, started doing it, started competing within a year and there we go, this year, national championships, gold. Yay! Gold in the national championships. You've been here. You've been here for about eight months. Eight months. And I think your story is pretty unique because you're you had some unique challenges. You're not just coming in here to get a six pack. No, I'm not. <laughs> I have kidney disease. Have it for about 15 years. I've been struggling on and off in many different ways. Been in hospital for weeks, months, even. Um, over the course but, of your lifetime, like this over been going 15 on. years. Okay. But one year ago, I was struggling all over. My kidney disease is autoimmune, so it's not just take out a kidney, right. it affects my immune system. So I couldn't digest my food, I had to eat baby food, I, I lost a huge amount of weight. So a friend recommended CrossFit. It's not like we cured your disease, no. but you can do, your quality of life is way different, right? No, my quality of life, friends, mentally, that's the biggest change in yeah. my life. I'm much more positive every day, even if something, like at the moment I'm not going through the best time, but. I want to go, I want to train, I want to talk to my buddies. Yeah, I, I, I want to keep coming. If the energy I have at 46 is more than I, what I had when I was 16. It's awesome. I love it. It's awesome. I'm being completely honest with you. I'm always concerned when I go to a new place. I'm thinking, oh no, some of the magic is going to be lost. Will this be, you know, will this, this community not be passing the torch of this important, beautiful thing that we built uh, over, over a decade? And uh, it took less than 24 hours spending time with you guys to know that that's absolutely not the case in Ireland. Uh, you guys have lived up to your reputation. Yeah. Amazing, generous, welcoming, um, slightly intoxicated, table three. <laughs> great, great people. So, uh, so thank you, first of all, and, uh, and thank you all for being here. This is, this is amazing. Uh, and you've also got 17-year-olds who can dust me up very easily with a barbell. So there's that, also. Bro, bro, bro.